All right, so we're checking out the only game where a man pretends to be a doctor and feeds people lines of bullshit so that they inevitably ruin their lives because he's not a doctor and he never got his doctorate. It's Astrologaster. In Astrologaster, you play a young man who wanted to be a doctor but couldn't because he's a failure. However, due to a giant fluke, he ended up curing the plague. And as such, now everyone comes to him for his counsel, even though he has absolutely no idea what the hell he's talking about. This is a game where it's said that you can make wrong choices and ruin people's lives. That was enough to pique my interest. More malpractice suits, dammit! This is our boy Simon Foreman, who's narcissistic enough to actually have a picture of him outside of his business. Simon reads the stars, which means he's a good liar. So obviously people are going to come to us and ask us for answers to what ails them and we are going to choose whatever the most ridiculous answer is. All right, Avis, come on in. I gotta put my kids through college. Mrs. Allen says that she has a pain in her head and chundering. What caused my suffering? All right, let's see what we got here. Mistress, Allen's troubles have been provoked by anxious passions associated with her being with child. Okay, I like this one so far. Or she's suffering from evil digestion. <laughs> What the hell is evil digestion? Saturn in detriment and retrograde. This suggests a mild imbalance of black bile in the body. I have a feeling that she actually is pregnant, so we're picking evil digestion because I love the name. <gasps> you chose cancer! I hate how it says that. It's like, Gray, how do you want to cure Mrs. Allen? And I'm like, cancer, I choose you. It was doubtless engendered by corrupt meats. Here comes the lies. My chart shows that Saturn is in cancer at the moment. Cancer rules the stomach and Saturn is the ruler of black bile. The bile, do you think it might have done ill to my unborn child? I told you she was pregnant. She bought it. How very kind you are, Dr. Foreman. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Allen. Have fun being a mother. Why do I feel, given the type of advertisement that we use for our building, that we're like the corner shop doctor, like the one all the way at the back of the alley? Like they go to the real doctor and the real doctor's like, yeah, it'll be $10,000. And they're like, oh. And they come to us and we're like, I'll do it for tree 50. Ah, uh, Emma, timid as a little bird, frightened by an unkind word. Be gentle with Emma. Emma, do you hear that sound in the background? Do you know what that is? That's the sound a doctor makes when it lies. I'm even calling myself a doctor now. Okay, I feel like that's some sort of crime, but whatever. Oh, here we go. A man asked me to be his wife, a dear kind man, but suppressed sob, I fear you will think me cold. He is exceeding advanced in years. I do worry he may not be long for this world, and if he were to die, I do not think I could bear it. Is he rich? Why, Dr. Foreman, it is as if though you have a gift of reading minds, merely a gift of logical surmise. Where did this, where did all these gifts come from? We couldn't even make it through medical school. All right, what do we got here? Mr. Middleton has been bewitched. <laughs> this enchantment may prove fatal. Okay, it's a good contender. Mr. Middleton <laughs> suffers from dropping down of the piss, characterized by involuntary urination. Well, this is our new leader of the pack, okay. Mr. Middleton suffers from a cardiac passion, a condition that may end in death. Oh, see that right there sounds legitimate. And as such, we're gonna have to go with dropping down of the piss. I can't wait to see how my guy spins this. I have exceedingly excellent news for you. Mr. Middleton has only the most trifling of ailments dropping down of the piss every time I see it. Blessed day, what wondrous news. London has lately been importuned by low-born charlatans claiming the title of doctor. These men have never attended university and therefore cannot be trusted. Any man found to be practicing medicine without a medical license shall be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I do want you to remember something, Richard Smith. Uh, I am not a doctor. I am a liar, but I also cured the plague. So the reason your ass is alive is because of me. 
Guy has a fantastic fashion sense. I know you might be asking, what's in the pouch? It's another mustache. It is burning when I make of the water. Pain during urination. And is pain down there. Multo pain. Sounds like dropping down of the piss disease. All right, suffering from the gout. Uh-huh, seems pretty normal. Uh, suffering from stones in the kidney. This actually sounds like what he has. Or dysentery. So, just like the Oregon Trail, we've got to choose dysentery. This suggests that Ferrario is lying. We suffer from dysentery. Wow. No, we didn't pull any punches. Apparently the roofs are made of lead. Indeed, water collected from lead roofs is a well-documented cause of dysentery. I prescribe bed rest and vigorous fumigation of the body from below. <laughs> are you quite sure of this diagnosis? Absolutely. Then you blow a smoke up my, up your fundament, yes. As I say, my manservant will perform the procedure after inflating a pair of bellows with the fumes of hot coal tar. Be not afraid, it's a near painless procedure. Mayhap we do this another day. Hell no, you sit your ass down and get your ass blown in too. Oh, it's Avis Allen again, she's back. It is sure she is no beauty. It is sure she lacks finesse. But every awkward hero needs his awkward princess. <laughs> this game has turned insulting people into an art form. She wants to know if she should attend church services. I like how reliant people are becoming on us. Like they have to ask us for the most trivial of things. So basically A says, that everyone is envious of her wealth, and B says that she should remain strong in her convictions. Obviously, it's everyone else's fault we're going with A. If your neighbors consider speaking against you, it is on account of envy. I have not had the same fortune as other women, and to be sure, we are not wealthy. Hence, you must disabuse your neighbors for their ill-founded notions. Indeed, they must. you must have them believe that you are in truth most poor. She's like, do I have to have people pity me? And he's like, yeah, basically. They would say, see how low poor Mistress Allen has come? She has no gown fine enough for a church. And if a woman must sacrifice her comeliness for the sake of her soul, so be it. It is a small price to pay. Uh, she's starting to hit on the doc, the fake doctor. I almost called him a doctor. I did advise her to avoid going to church by pretending she was ashamed by the poverty of her attire. Also, I just went past it, but did that say coitus post consulto? Yep. <laughs> sure does. Isn't she married? I'm pretty sure she is. Oh, Jesus. It's Ferrario. He's back. I didn't think he would come for a follow-up consultation. Was it the dysentery? It was, wasn't it? First problem is the laughter that cannot be controlled. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay. Ah ha 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 ha. Anything else? The dancing that cannot be controlled. What the hell? Doubtless my disease, whatever it may be, is very rare and very difficult to diagnose. Let me assure you that whatever it is said of us on the continent, the learning of we English doctors is unparalleled. Now let's go to the stars and see what kind of bullcrap I can churn up. Ferrario has been bitten by a tarantula on one of his ankles. Tarantula venom causes the victim to laugh, sing, or dance uncontrollably. Ferrario is suffering from a disease that occasions abdominal pain, belching, and bloating of the stomach. Hell no, that's lame. It's the tarantula. You have been bitten by a tarantula. Malto Ben. Just saved a man's life. What is their relation? We are no longer sure. Seems Foreman's now the patient and Avis is the cure. <laughs> She's back. Avis, I'm just glad you ain't in prison yet. I cannot tarry long. My husband will be expecting me home. Is something the matter? Of course. I bid you to ask my the stars whether my lover is to say, be it true that he engages with another woman in, in acts of the strumpty humpty when it's the second one. It is, it is unlikely to speak in such indelicate words. I don't think I'm having sex with another woman, am I? Has Mistress Allen's lover been unfaithful to her? Is it, but it's me. Aren't I reading the stars on myself at this point? Mistress Allen no longer pleases her lover. The spark has been lost. Mistress Allen's lover wishes to father a child. Wait a second, is she banging someone else besides me? This consultation will provoke unexpected intimacies between me and Avis. We're picking this one. Your lover has not been coupling with another woman. He has not. Nope, stars say it. How relieved I am to hear you say this. 
but you, this lover, it was me all along? Were you not speaking of some other man? I had to know the truth from the stars, for I did hear tell of other women. But how could you not see that no other woman is to me so dear? I mean, I, I guess I fixed this. I don't really know what just happened. She's pleased with the reading. We're coitus. When you have a patient wearing peacock feathers carrying a monkey, it's gonna be a good consultation. I am come upon a most troubling matter. I know whether or not it is medical or something else. So they were having dinner after dinner. They wanted to go to the gardens. They were walking along the path right in the middle of the gardens. And then what? My guests and I were all of a sudden stricken with pain. We began chundering and voiding from our, <laughs> but there was nowhere to turn. There was no bushes close by to shield our modesty. <laughs> it was unspeakable. It's like something out of the Goonies. I like how the monkey is covering its eyes. <laughs> Let us see how the stars explain this. Ah, evil digestion yet again. I feel like this may be a real thing. Mistress Fortescue is troubled with wandering hands. This suggests neurosis. Your real problem is a case of wandering hands. For I did remark the way you seem to be oft adjusting your clothing. Indeed, it is most distracting. I do not follow you, Dr. Foreman. For the complaints I came here with where silence, wandering hands, is but a minor affliction. Eva Salen, she hasn't had enough yet. <laughs> it was my husband who bade me to come, for he finds it difficult to speak of, as I say, to come in his stead, and I could think of no reason to give him why I should not come. What is troubling your husband? He's got sad wiener syndrome, doesn't he? It's true, it's actually what he has. Loss of carnal lust, uh-huh. Cold in the heart, prick in the back. It is causing him pain in the hips and making it difficult to perform his duties around the- Wait a second! She's supposed to be with me! This is temporary? Hell no! What's the chronic one? Cold in the heart. It's gonna be long lasting. Very sad. More post-consultation sex! The conquering cherub was the right choice. I- I can't believe it. My earnings have enabled me to make a substantial investment in the expedition to the new world. So now he wants to know whether he's going to discover El Dorado. You know what? Sure, go find El Dorado, my child. Ferrario is bleeding from his ass. What ails him? It's dysentery, Ferrario. We went over this. So she married that guy, and then he fell on top of a church, struck down by his abiding love of gothic architecture. Wait a second. He didn't actually fall off the church, did he? Who's been prowling outside of Alan's house? Isn't it me? The prowler is a mature, intelligent man who is a secret enemy of the Allens. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, I just prescribed a guy a potion and he died. Someone just died in my, in my fake doctor house. Is that, did medical malpractice exist back then? Am I gonna get sued? A few seconds later. Well, you have been called before the assembly of the College of Physicians to answer the charge of practicing medicine without a medical license. What have you to say in your defense? Would you deny practicing medicine, sir? It's not technically medicine. I'm kind of just making shit up. Indeed, we have received reports of a man by the name of Nicholas Mugg, a wig maker of Silver Street that died. Yeah, was that his name? I didn't really, I, did, I was just taking his money. Besides the death of this patient, we have gathered ample evidence of your malpractice. Yeah, it's not hard. Ricardo Ferrario, oh God, no. What you so boldly call medical care was not but the advice conjured up by means of dark magic. You have no understanding of physics or astrology. Oh, I'm supposed to show everyone how smart I am about astrology. Hold on, which star represents authority? Which one, hold on, which one doesn't? I wanna pick the wrong answer. I'm pretty sure the moon would be wrong. Ah, there we go. Men are from Mars. Women are from Earth. Oh, it was right! <laughs> I thought it wanted to complete the Venus thing. Phlegm is <laughs> cold and dry. <laughs> Which zodiac rules over the privy parts? Obviously, it's Aquarius. 
You have failed. I know. That was the point. Constable Shackle has made him take it into the <laughs> This is most unjust. Well, I'm a lying bastard and I went to jail. But I regret nothing because I killed at least one person due to my medical malpractice. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Astrologaster. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>